guys, today we're going to be doing a hairstyle that we saw in the new Disney show Descendants and it was Evie that was wearing it. We are going to be using two pieces of ribbon to make this hairstyle. We found one that was kind of sparkly and the other is more of a velvet. You can really use whatever you want. We just wanted some different textures. And these ribbons are both about three feet long. I'm putting them together and then I'm going to fold them in half just so that I can find the middle. So once you find the middle, you're going to want to fold it so that it forms into a point. I'm actually going to put this sparkly one on the top so that it shows. You can't just fold it like that because then one side is going to be a different texture than the other side. So what I'm going to do is kind of fold it like this. So I'm just pushing one end in so that it forms a point. And then I'm just going to put a drop of hot glue right under that so that it will hold. Okay, I went ahead and glued that off camera, so this is what it looks like on the front and back. And this is just going to go in the front of her head, kind of over her forehead. And then what I've done with her hair is I just parted it down the middle, and then I just grabbed a small section on each side that we're going to use with the braid. So it's just a tiny bit of hair. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is position this on her forehead where I want it, and then I'm just going to have her hold that there for a minute. I'm going to take this little elastic out and I'm just going to braid this hair in as one of the strands in a three strand braid. So these other two ribbons are going to be the other two strands. And I am going to spray this down with some water before I start so that we don't have flyaways. Okay, now that I have that sprayed down with water, I'm just going to grab this ribbon again and just start braiding. So it's nothing fancy, it's just a regular three strand braid. And you want to try to keep the sparkly side of the ribbon up or whatever texture you want to show with the ribbon you're using. If you have some beads or something like that, it might be cute to thread onto the ribbon and you can kind of add it randomly along the braid. So the picture of the hairstyle I was using as inspiration, it was more just a headpiece. I don't think her hair was really involved. And then it just kind of ended about right here. What I'm going to do is continue braiding this down and then I'm going to tie it off and we're just going to hide it underneath her hair. Okay, so while I work on the other side, I'm just going to temporarily tie this off. And then I'm just going to do the exact same thing over here. The only thing you're going to kind of watch is that you start the braid about the same spot. So you want it symmetrical from this other side. So you'll probably want whoever is helping you to hold this just while you get the braid started so that you don't pull it too tight on this second side. So at this point there's a couple of different options. If you want it to look more authentic like the picture, you could lift up this hair here in the back and then kind of hide this underneath there so that it looks like it ends just kind of in the center of her hair. want more of this braid to show so we're going to do ours a little bit different. I'm just going to connect it on top of the hair. Okay here's what the headpiece looks like all finished and again if you want to lift up some of this hair here in the back and put it over this elastic that'll help hide it and it will look like it's just sitting inside the hair. So you can see in the front it has this cute little point. And then we are just going to add some curling wand curls because I did notice she had some curls in the movie. We do have a video showing how to do that and I will have it linked below. All right, we went ahead and added some curls. So here is the completed hairstyle. Mm -hmm. 